everyone, Tech1421 here. Welcome back to a, another episode of Pokemon Nuzlocke Randomizer for Pokemon Sapphire, whatever you want to call it. I am Tech1421, as I probably already said. But, anyways, this is another fun, action packed, adventure fill full episode. I don't know what I'm saying. Of this fun little game that we have here. And in the last episode, we went ahead and we actually evolved our Pokemon, which was our. Cronat. I always forget how to say his name, uh, but uh, you can see here. I, I never actually showed it on screen, but I looked back and I added it off camera. And he actually changed type, which I wasn't expecting that to happen. But I guess when you evolve, you change type. You also change ability. Uh, I don't know about the nature. I didn't really look at that, but uh, I don't know where it is at. I don't. Where's the nature? Oh, there it is. Okay, lacks nature. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, he is now poison point, which means that he poisons foe on contact instead of being the flame body thing so we switched from burn to poison which is kind of funny and now he's dark round type so that's a little bit interesting there uh don't know what else to say about that but we have peanut we have olivia and we're gonna keep on a rolling uh, i apologize for the lack of episodes recently i just got a nintendo 3ds which is awesome, I got the Mario, no, I got the Luigi's Mansion version, it came free with the Luigi's Mansion Blue Moon game, and it's like, a, it's a blue one, and it's just, it's a really cool looking thing, so I'm really happy about that, I think it's an awesome, awesome thing, and I'm gonna go ahead and frenzy plan here, even though it might not be super effective, and we miss, of course, but anyways, uh, so yeah, it's been a while since I've played, I've been playing a lot of that, I also got Pokemon X, uh, for that game, so... Uh, I'm really excited, I've been playing it a lot, and of course it's not super effective against it, of course. Mega Kick, that shouldn't do too much. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, we must recharge, he's probably going to use Mega Kick again, it's probably going to do another 4%, 5%, whatever. Uh, and he's poisoned. <laughs> good old Poison Point for the win right there. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. Okay, so I've been playing a lot of that, so I do apologize, I should be probably speeding this up. Like I normally do. There we go, super effective Ice Punch, go figure, I probably should just use that in the first place. Uh, but yeah, we defeated this guy, this fisherman. But yeah, that's why I, I haven't been putting out too many episodes. I've been playing a ton of Pokemon X, which I hope you guys understand. It's a really fun game. Unfortunately, I can't record anything for my 3DS. I'd have to pay like 200 plus dollars for a new, like a software. As we get a freeze! Yeah, yeah, freeze! Awesome. We might as well use a poison tail. Um, now we are dark ground type. I'm gonna start trying to figure out TMs to use for our Pokemon as soon as we evolve again Because then we'll get stabbed for certain moves, but if we're going to switch, you know types anyways when we evolve We might as well not even worry <coughs> We might as well not even worry about it as I sneeze. Okay next up is Pichu 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 uh, We're gonna go into Olivia here because we want to kind of even out the evolution or the experience stuff going on here uh, I'm going to use a water spout, don't know if that will be super effective or not, doesn't really matter, water spout's a beast of a move to use when you're at full health. Next up is Delibird, we're going to stay in here. What can Delibird do us? Do to us, let's be realistic, nothing really too much I don't think. Uh, we go to level 17 which is fantastic and then we are trying to learn Crush Claw, which I don't know what that does, it sounds like a new kind of move or something that I've never heard of. Tears at the foe with sharp claws may lower defense. Cool, we'll switch that with spit up or whatever, spilt up, spit up, whatever that move was. Um, awesome, so we learned a pretty cool move. It had pretty good base attack too, so that's, that's actually pretty nice. Yo, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I was going to ask the question of the day, what are some kind of 3DS games that you, would, that you really enjoy, that you've played, or that you've been thinking about getting as we find a Stardust? on this rock here. Uh, I just want to know because I, I obviously just got my 3DS, I'm looking for you know different games to play, different things to to purchase and try out for myself, so let me know. Uh, but yeah, now we're going to go into this cave. This is a new raft right here, this, this cave right here. So we're going to go ahead and try to catch ourselves a brand new Pokemon as we're walking back and forth and running back and forth, sprinting back and forth trying to find ourselves a Pokemon. And there is a Rhydon, uh, which is a pretty awesome Pokemon to get. So I want to catch one of these if I can. Alright, Rhydon's route, what? Um, let's go ahead and Poison Tail. I'm hoping that won't do too much damage. 
If it does, I'll be really sad. Okay, that was super effective actually, but it took that it took that damage really well, surprisingly. So that's good. We're gonna go ahead and get some health back for the Shell Bell. He's gonna use Icy Wind. Now we're ground dark type, so this shouldn't do too much. It's actually super effective. I guess because of ground, it's actually super effective and it takes neutral damage for dark. So yeah, ice will be super effective against us. Never mind. Uh, but yeah, we're going to try and catch ourselves a Rhydon. We need more Pokemon, that's for sure, on our team. So we're going to try to catch as many as we possibly can. And I still have a huge list down here that of, of, of people's names I have to go through. He's going to use Horn Attack. Okay. Interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to use a Great Ball now that we have some. I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to go straight for the Great Ball. I was going to try to catch it with the Pokeball, but Great Ball has a better chance, obviously, to catch than a Pokeball does. And we cannot catch it again because no Pokemon wants to get on our squad, apparently. So as long as he uses the same two moves he's been using, he's not going to be able to take us out, that's for sure. And I'm hoping that this Great Ball will catch. Um, if, he, if he gets poisoned, then we'll have a better chance to catch him the next two turns. But I'm, I don't want to rely on that. I want to catch him with the... The Great Ball, that's for sure. Alright, he does get Poison, which makes it a easier chance to catch, which is which is good. And he's gonna he's also going to lower his health a little bit here, so that's good as well. So we're going to have three more turns to try to catch this thing. Let's use another Great Ball. Come on, Great Ball, I believe in you. Oh my gosh, don't pop out of your Pokeball. Please, 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 please. Yes, we caught ourselves a Rhydon. Fantastic. Now, unfortunately, it's poisoned, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have to uh, use a poison potion antidote right away. Uh, do you want to nickname your ride down? Yes, I do. Going down my list right here, the next person on the list is Taco. So we're gonna go ahead and name this ride down Taco. So let's do that, Senor Taco. Oops, I messed that up completely. Go back. I want lowercase letters. There we go. Taco! Alright, so Taco, you are a Rhydon. Awesome looking Pokemon. Let's go ahead and look at this thing. Before we forget though, I want to give it a Antidote. Antidote. Use. On Taco. And then we're going to go heal up in, before we get into trouble. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at this guy. This Rhydon. We know it uh, has the Drought ability, which is pretty cool. Grass Electric. Alright. Horn Attack, Icy... Icy Wind, Poison Powder, and Extreme Speed. Those are some good moves. And it's it's Grass Electric. It does not evolve again in this game. So that's all we have to uh, worry about is, is getting some Grass and Electric move stabs for our Rhydon here, which is really cool. Uh, so yeah, that's that. We caught ourselves a Pokemon. That's awesome. We're going to have to train our Rhydon up, that's for sure, because we, t we don't want it to die. Uh, <laughs> that would really suck. But yeah, so we have three Pokemon. I know there's four Pokeballs up there, but we have our HM Slave, which is all good and dandy. Hope to see you again, Nurse Joy. I hope to stay as far away from this place as possible, but uh, if we come back here with all three of our Pokemon alive, that is a good sign. But yeah. So again, going back to the question of the day, let me know what, what kind of games you want, or you, you like, or enjoy. Um, I'm probably going to get like Yoshi's Island. I really liked that game as a kid. And so yeah, he's gonna give us. I think he's gonna give us a. Uh, does he give a, us a TM here? I don't know. I forget. Uh, but yeah, I'm also going to tr probably get. What are the games? Like a Zelda game. I've never played a Zelda game, but I heard that the the new one is is really good. The the Link Zelda game, with the. I don't know what it's called. It's like something to do with time. I feel like all of them have to do with time, but. All right, let's go into our bag here and teach uh, it our uh, Flash to our Sunflora, our HM slave Sunflora, because that's all our Sunflora is used for, <laughs> which is kind of bad, but uh, it is what it is. I right, run to another Pokemon here, which is a Butterf uh, Beautifly, which calls forth the Sandstorm. I wonder if we call forth the Drought too. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna use a Icy Wind Meteor Mash. Okay, interesting. Uh, hopefully that kills it. It does not at all. It doesn't do like any damage. Uh, poison Powder. I don't know what this would do either. We poisoned it. I just want to get some. Uh, you know, I just want to get some levels for this thing. Meteor Mash isn't gonna do anything. 
Alright, there we go. We should be able to knock this thing out with an extreme speed. Do I want to waste the extreme speed? I think we're faster anyway, so let's go. Oh, no, we're not faster. Whatever. We're going to kill this thing either way. Cool, cool, cool. Get some experience for Taco. He is almost level 9. We want to get that thing up as high as we can. Alright. This thing doesn't look too threatening. We have pretty good defense and stuff, too, so I think we're going to be fine there. Icy Wind! Alright, lower your accuracy. I don't care. Okay, it's not doing any damage. I think the way to go in this in this cave here is to just keep using horn, uh, horn attack. But you know what? If he's going to keep on lowering our defense, we're just going to go ahead and go into Olivia and uh, take this thing out with a... Yeah, we have Levitate. That's what I'm talking about. With a Water Spout. Because Water Spout is going to kill everything. All the things. All the things. Alright. We get an Escape Rope. Definitely very useful item to have. I always try to carry at least one escape rope on me at all times throughout any Pokemon game because you never know when you're going to get like lost and have no idea what to do. Alright, we're going to go back into our... Hmm, let's go into Peanut here. I don't know what this thing does. Mega Drain, okay. That is super effective. We're going to have to watch out for that, but we can take this thing out probably with an Ice Punch. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'm happy about that. Get some more experience. We should go to level... Yes, we go to level 9 with Taco. You can see the HP and that defense is continuing to raise, which is fantastic. Peanut grows 69 HP or XP as well. Cool stuff. Now we're going to use our Flash because that is what our slave is here for. To Flash. What? This can't be used until a new badge is obtained. Do we have to go to the badge? Do we have to do that first? Oh my gosh. All right. So this episode is going to be entirely for leveling up our Pokemon then, because I don't want to uh, fail at the gym. He's going to use extreme speed. Alright, this doesn't do too much. Alright, um... Icy Wind, go! Kill it! No, okay, that is super effective, that's great. He's going to use an Icy Wind on us. Oof, that is, that's, that's a little scary there! <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and... Use a potion. Where are my potions? There's my potion. Use a potion. Cool, cool, cool. Don't use icy wind. All right, we're poisoned again. Oh my gosh. Really? All right. Let's use a icy wind. He's gonna extreme speed us. Icy wind should be able to take this thing out. It does. Good, good, good. We're gonna have to use an antidote right away. Uh, antidote. Use on taco. Cool. All right, we're going to go back to the, the gym area and take on the first few trainers of the uh, that are in the gym. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch to our peanut here. Hopefully this, this one doesn't have Giga Drain either. It has Muddy Water. All right, it didn't do too much damage, even though it was super effective. That's fine. Um, Ice Punch. Kill it. Do work, peanut. And yeah, all is well. We're getting levels left and right. We are continuing to run into more and more Pokemon, though. And I, I really don't want to die, so I'm going to go into Olivia here. Olivia, I choose you! Vital Throw. That's not going to do anything at all. And Water Spout! Yeah, yeah, super effective. Okay. And Taco goes to level 10. He is trying to learn Self-Destruct. No! We are never going to learn Self-Destruct. <laughs> no, I don't, want to, I don't want to learn. I meant to press the other, other thing. B. Stop learning self-destruct. That is literally the worst move to learn in a Nuzlocke playthrough. I can't believe it even gave me the option of learning that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and run our way back to the Pokemon Centaur. And go ahead and heal up. Thanks to Nurse Joy. Nurse Joy, man, we're making this a regular occasion here. Going to this Pokemon Center and, and healing up our Pokemon. We need to really uh, see less of each other because I do. I want to. I want to spend more time out in the world and and uh, leveling up my Pokemon's and stuffs. All right, who wants to battle me? Yeah, you want to battle me? You know you do. You know you do, girl. You know you do. Okay, she has some kind of. Uh, she's trying to kick something. Uh, she's gonna send out a number, which is level 14, which is a little scary to face. Taco's drought. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's go into Olivia here. Hopefully they use a rock move, or no. Okay, he's going to use Wish. I am perfectly fine with you wishing. Water Spout is going to take this thing out. Look at that rhyming skills right there. Uh, player defeated. Battle Girl Laura. 
Yeah, Battle Girl Laura was nothing for us. She got nothing on us. Um, I think I'm gonna go right into. I'm just gonna start leading with Olivia. We'll get more XP for Taco as time progresses, but for now, I want to level up Olivia. The Water Spout's gonna be key for this gym leader. As if we can find anyone to battle. I want to battle all the trainers in the gym. I always try to do that. I think that's definitely a key thing to do. I, I like to battle all all trainers. I don't like to skip any trainers really, unless I'm gonna come back there later on in the game and get more XP for other Pokemon. But I, the trainers obviously give the most amount of XP is, is you know from trainer encounters uh, throughout the game. So I think that's definitely like the best way to go is just to try to battle all the trainers you can. And obviously, once you defeat a gym leader, you can no longer challenge anyone from the gym anymore. Um, so you gotta do it while you're while you're there. All right, we're gonna water spout. Hopefully that kills. It does. Gosh, Water Spout is such a crazy move. Olivia grows to level 18, which is great. Uh, Bell Toy's coming out. Let's go ahead and go into Peanut here. Hopefully go to level 19 with Peanuts after this little battle here. And here comes Bell Toy's Ice Punch. And it does not take it out. Psycho Boost doesn't affect us. Haha, <laughs> because we're Dark Type. That's what's up right there. All right, we do grow level 19, which is absolutely fantastic. And next up is Pineco. Um, Pineco, a lot of Pinecos cover, have self-destruct, but I don't think this one will because it's random moves, so I'm going to go into Taco here, and we're going to go ahead and see what this thing's made of. Icy Wind. Doesn't do anything. It's speed fell, though. Oh, gosh, Water Spout. Oh, thank God that didn't do too much. Okay. Oof, Water Spout is a, it's a, it's a scary move. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and horn attack, see what that does. Oh, it doesn't affect it. Alright, Water Spout, not gonna do too much either. Keep on using Water Spout, please, especially in that sun. We're gonna Poison Powder, it missed. Alright, I guess it can miss. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and Poison Powder again. Thank you for hitting this time. It's beat up, okay, it didn't do anything. It's hurt by Poisoned. Now we're going to Extreme Speed, because that seemed to do the most. Okay, it's not affected. <laughs> the fails, alright. Poison type. I guess the only thing we can use is an Icy Wind right here. So we're just going to keep using that. It's Speed Fell again. And uh, after Poison and Icy Wind, we're going to be able to knock this thing out. And Taco may grow to level 11. We'll have to see. Hydro Cannon! Woof! Every time I see it move, it's like it's just scary. To, like, I think, oh my gosh, it's going like, to take it out. Oh, I guess it, it makes sense that Water Spout doesn't do too much because we are both Electric and Grass. So it's like one-fourth damage, basically. Plus, it's in the sun. All right, player defeated, battle girl Tessa. Tessa, but how? How could I lose so easily? Because I'm a beast. <laughs> That's how. All right, there's the gym leader. Um, I'm gonna try to see if there are any other trainers to battle. We already battled him. Is that it? Is that it for this area? This gym? There's no one else? There's no one else around? I guess not. All right, we're going to go ahead and speed up all the way to the Pokemon Center. Go all the way back. Heal up all of our things. And then we're actually going to battle the gym leader in this episode because I feel like we should get something major done in the plot line before we end things off. Because, yeah. So let's do that. Hopefully we don't lose anyone. Where, where do I have to go? This way. All right. We can't run in here, which is a little sad and depressing. There's no running sign above the uh, atrium of the gym. And now we're going to go ahead and say, Hey, look, it's some braid. I think it's a Brawly. Is that the name of this person? I don't know. I forget. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and lead with our, yeah, Olivia. And go from there. Okay, Brawly. Yeah. Day Ford's gym leader. This guy's cool. An anime, he, like, surfs around and stuff. Because he's cool like that. And, alright, yes, I'm ready to battle you and get my second gym? Second gym batch, I think. I don't know. I probably should know these things, but I don't. Alright, Charmander! He is a Charmander. We're going to go ahead and use a Water Spout. And that's going to kill in one hit because Olivia's a boss. Uh, next up is Puccinetta. Let's go into Peanuts here. Make sure we, get, we take care of business. A level 18 Poochin Yetta. And let's go ahead and... Uh, 
use Ice Punch. Might as well. Rough skin? Oh my gosh. You would have rough skin. Scary face! Fine! Go ahead and scary face me. See if I care. Uh, let's see how much Poison Tail does. He's gonna charge. Okay. I'm fine with that. It doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect him either. Tether Dance. Is that... It's gonna confuse us. Interesting. Silver Wind! Take it out! Oh my gosh. It doesn't take it out. Alright. An Ice Punch as long as we don't hurt ourselves from confusion. Yeah, it's not going to affect us, sir. So, do whatever you want. We're actually doing more damage to ourselves. Alright, we're already confused, but now we snap out of it. And we're going to go ahead and take out this Puccinetta. The rough skin damage is going to hurt a little bit, but not too much. <laughs> Everything has rough skin. It's so weird. Alright, Shell Bell restores some HP. I don't really care. It doesn't really do too much. I like leftovers better. Obviously, who doesn't like leftovers better than Shell Bell? Uh, but yeah, whoa! Whoa, wow. You made a much bigger splash than I expected. You swamped me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, take that money and run. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, we get our second gym badge. I forget what it's called. And we defeat uh, the Knuckle Badge from Brawly. So we get uh, the Knuckle Badge, which is all good and dandy. So we got a lot accomplished in this episode. We got our second gym badge, the Knuckle Badge. And now we're going to be able to use Flash outside of battle. So we're going to go into the cave in the next episode. We got ourselves a Rhydon, which is pretty awesome. And we got TM08, which is uh, Bulk Up, which he actually didn't have on any of his Pokemon. So Bulk Up is actually a really good move. We're going to definitely try to give that to somebody on our team eventually. I don't want to use it now, but it's a, it's a great move to have for any attacker. Uh, especially like a bruiser so we might actually give it to Rhydon it would be actually be really good for him if we get some like a thunder punch kind of move or some kind of grass move that's physical damage then we'll be pretty good that'll, that'll be definitely a great Pokemon to have on our team so um, that's fantastic hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you guys can leave a like that'd be absolutely fantastic as well as if you want to answer the question of the day uh, what uh, did I just heal my Pokemon twice? I don't know. <laughs> the question of the day was, what 3DS games do you like? And also, if you have any you know regular old DS games that you like, you know, let me know. And, and uh, you know, I'm trying to do some research to find out which games I kind I want to get. So yeah, that's that. Uh, I will see everyone in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. See everyone later. Peace.